What if I told you there's an easy way to start investing where you'll most likely see financial gains over time and you don't have to be a trading professional? Don't believe me? As the great investor Warren Buffett once said, by periodically investing in an index fund, the know-nothing investors can actually outperform most investment professionals. Hi, I'm Kate with The Motley Fool, and I'm gonna break down what an index fund is and how to start investing in them. Before we go in depth, let's break down some key terms. Index. An index is a selection of stocks like the Dow Jones Industrial Average or the S&P 500. Index fund. An index fund is an investment that tracks a market index, typically made up of stocks or bonds. Index funds typically invest in all the components that are included in the index they track. And they have fund managers, whose job it is to make sure the index fund performs the same as the index does. One of the most popular indexes is the S&P 500. The S&P 500 includes 500 of the largest companies in the US based on several factors, including profitability, amount of trading volume, and market capitalization, just to name a few. So when you invest in an index fund that tracks the S&P 500, you will own stock in all the companies within that index. Something to note, your investment won't be split equally between the companies, as most indexes weigh the distribution amount based on those factors I previously listed. Investing in an index fund is one of the most effective ways for investors to start building wealth. They are for people looking to passively invest and looking to match market returns instead of trying to beat them with active stock picks. Something to note but not covered in this video is an ETF, which is a fund that trades like a stock. So what are the benefits of investing in an index fund? Number one, minimize your time spent researching individual stocks. Instead, you can rely on the fund's portfolio manager to invest in index that already includes stocks you want to invest in. Number two, you can invest with less risk. Most indexes include dozens, if not hundreds of stocks, and that diversification can leave you less likely to suffer big losses if something bad happens to one or two companies in the index. Number three, index funds are available for a wide variety of investments. You can buy stock index funds and bond index funds, which covers the two big parts of most people's investing strategy. But you can also buy more focused index funds that drill down into certain parts of the financial market. Number four, it's a lot less expensive. Index funds are usually far less costly than alternatives like actively managed funds. That's because the index fund manager just has to buy the stocks or other investments in the index. You don't have to pay them to come up with stock picks of their own. You'll pay less in taxes. Index funds are quite tax efficient compared with many other investments. For instance, index funds don't do much buying and selling of their holdings as actively managed funds. And so index funds less often generate capital gains that can add to your tax bill. Number six, it's a lot easier to stick with your investing plan. When you use index funds, you can automatically invest month after month and ignore short-term up and downs, confident that you'll share in long-term growth of the market. As simple and easy as index funds are, they're not for everyone. They can come with some downsides. Number one, you'll never beat the market. Index funds are designed solely to match the market's performance. Number two, you won't always own the stocks you like. Depending on the index you choose, you can end up owning some stocks you'd rather not own, while missing out on others you'd prefer. You made your pro and con list, and you've decided you want to invest using index funds. Let's see how to make that happen. Pick an index. There are hundreds of different indexes. As discussed, the most popular index is the S&P 500. You may have also heard of tech-heavy NASDAQ 100 or the Russell 2000 packed with 2,000 of smaller companies available in the market. There are tons of options, depending on what you're interested in. Now you have to choose the right fund for your index. Once you've chosen an index, you can generally find an index fund that tracks that. For popular indexes like the S&P 500, you might have a dozen or more choices all tracking the same index. There are companies like Vanguard, Charles Schwab, and TD Ameritrade, just to name a few. Now you have to buy the index fund shares. There's generally two ways to go about this. You can open an account with a mutual fund company that allows you to invest directly into the index fund that they offer, or you can open a brokerage account. And with a broker, you can buy and sell into the index fund that you're interested in. 
index funds offer investors of all skill levels, a simple, successful way to start investing. I hope this video helped you on your investor journey. At The Motley Fool, our purpose is to make the world smarter, happier, and richer.